Hello again, everyone, and welcome to episode one of this new series titled Battlefield Lost. I know posts have been very scarce on the channel this year, but with school coming to a close, I hope to be able to post more frequently on the channel for you guys. It's been a really long and hectic year, but I can confidently say that it's been a huge learning curve for me in audio, and I hope it shows in the quality of the productions I put on here going forward. So let's not waste any time and get started with the first of this five-part series, episode one of Battlefield Lost. Come on, speed up, Heine. We don't have all day. Where are we going? It's not for you to worry about. Now shut up and walk faster. Yes, but, Dalton, where are we going? We're going to find my platoon. Or your platoon. Or some other platoon so we can hand over this scumbag and get on with our lives. Are you sure this way will lead us to our men? I'm positive. I mean... Everything south of the mountains was ours before we got separated, so someone has to be there. Well, I just hope we're going the right way. This area could still be crawling with Germans. Yeah, don't lead us the wrong way, Sergeant. Or you might bring us to my platoon. How many times do I need to tell you to shut up? Wait, stop. Look, what's that over there? It looks like a Kubelwagen. A what? A jeep. A German jeep. Hey, slow down. One more step and I'll shoot you. First you say walk fast, then you say walk slow. Make up your mind. Just be quiet. Heads up, Withers. Hilfe! The feed hack me, Ah! Nice one, Withers. I think you're right. Whoever left this here is long gone. Ah! You knocked out my tooth! Well, you didn't give me much choice. Yup. These boys were Germans, all right. Look at this map. Is this where we are right now? I'm afraid so. If you're right, we're deep in German territory. We'll have to move quickly if we want to get out alive. <laughs> it's hopeless for you too. My men will find us soon. And when they do... You will become the prisoners. <laughs> oh, you've been saying your men are nearby quite a lot, but... I don't know. This is all quite strange. How do you mean? Well, ever since we captured the German and started walking down this road, we haven't seen anyone. Don't you find it odd that there isn't even a single sign of life here? This is war, Withers. Of course it's weird no one's here. But these aren't normal circumstances. I know, but you'd think we might see something that tells us people are near. Also, not to mention, it's so quiet. That is because your men know not to come here. Entering our territory is cause for certain death. Yeah, well, I'll believe it when I see it. And what happened to your comrades over here? Why did they leave the jeep? <sighs> it doesn't matter. All it means is that they are close by. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. So where do we have to go to get out of German territory? If we follow this road, it'll take us to the mountains. And if we can get to the other side, then we should be clear. Assuming you will make it that far. I don't know how far we'll make it. But at least the journey will be in silence thanks to your missing comrades. Are those handkerchiefs? You're gonna have to speak up, pal. Can't really hear what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I'm becoming more fond of you two. Do you think the Germans are really around here somewhere? I don't know. Before, I thought they would be. But I've been thinking about what you said. Now I'm not so sure. I just don't understand where everyone's gone. When I was with the 1st Airborne Division, we saw conflict every day since we landed in Italy. Same with us. This place just... it isn't right. I know. It worries me because I'm sure there's a good reason why no one is here. Maybe. This sure beats getting shot at from every which way. I haven't had this much peace and quiet since I was back home. Yeah, 
I suppose you're right. If it were my choice, I'd still be there. Where? The battlefield? No. Home. Yeah, but surely it would drive you crazy sitting on your ass at home knowing everything that's going on over here. No, not really. I'd be completely content staying at home. Being with my family and not having to worry about all this mess. Jesus, Withers. I got the impression you were a nice guy, but I didn't realize how much of a yellow belly you were. How the hell did you get this far thinking like that? I guess that's a pretty good question. Why did you want to join and fight so badly? Are you kidding me? The second those kamikaze maniacs attacked us, all I wanted to do was come over here and raise hell. And these Germans, these lunatics, I swear to God, I'm going to be the one to put a bullet in that Hitler's head. Guys, guys, have you heard the news? Come on, turn it up. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by air. President Roosevelt has just announced. The attack also was made on all naval and military activities on the principal island of Oahu. Oh, really, guys? The whole world is going to shit. What the hell do you think is going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to enlist in the army first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. Then I'm going to go over there and I'm going to knock some sense into those Japanese or those Germans or whoever the hell needs it. Yeah. But slow down a minute, Lou. Maybe you want to think about it first. What is there to think about? Those foreign nut jobs brought it over here to us. Let them do what they want among themselves, but they attack us? They're just asking for it. Hey, come on, guys, be quiet. We take you now to Washington. A Japanese attack upon Pearl Harbor naturally would mean war. Such an attack would naturally bring a counterattack. Yeah. And hostilities you see what I mean? Naturally... It's natural we get them back. All right. I hear you, Lou, but I mean, what about baseball? What about baseball? You think I care about baseball right now? Come on. You were double A player of the year this year. Be smart, Lou. You could actually go to the majors soon. Not to mention your poor mother. If those lunatics take over Europe, you know we're next, right? Yeah, he's right. Then no one will be playing baseball. Besides, Mary's almost 15. She can take care of Ma. Yeah. What the hell? If you say so, Lou. Where hostilities now seem to be actually opening over the whole South Pacific. I couldn't see myself not fighting in this war. Why did you join up if you're such a pacifist? Didn't have a choice, really. When they instated the National Service Act a few years ago, all of us British men were subject for military conscription. Conscription? Yeah. Forced to be in the army. Oh. You mean like a draft? Yeah. Exactly. A draft. You can't keep doing this forever, you know. I won't do it forever, just until the war ends. I don't understand why you have to be such a coward. Both of your brothers went, but here you are, hiding like a child. I shouldn't be forced to fight in a war I don't believe in. What do you believe in, David? Thieving other people's property? Not having a job? You don't even help out on the farm. Mrs Withers! Mrs Withers! We know your son's in there. I'm not lying to them again for you. But, Mother! No, David. David! David, get back here! David! No! I don't want to go! Doesn't matter what you want, mate. His Majesty's Royal Army has jurisdiction now. David, you've been running from conscription for six months now. You have two choices. Either join up and serve your country like a man, or become labelled a pacifist. What does that mean? What will happen to him? It means he'll be jailed for six months and registered as a conscientious objector. People in this country aren't very fond of conscientious objectors at the moment, and you probably won't be able to find employment after that. If 
Finding employment is the least of his worries. I've seen you grow up right before my eyes, David. Now is your chance to do something with your life. Best not to live and die like a coward. I suppose you think I should just live and die like a man then? The choice is yours. Either way, you'll come with me. Don't make us more disappointed than we already are, David. Fine. I'll go. I'll join my brothers in war. Boy, I don't know how you could do it. I was more than glad to. What was that? Sounded like a vehicle. Come on, let's get off the road. Where did it go? Did you see it? No, but it sounded like it was just here. Now what? It's getting dark. We better just shack up in that house for the night. Come on, let's go. Thank you.